Hi, I'm Matthias, and in this video, I'll show you how to annotate drawings with symbols. If this has been a time-consuming task of adding blocks, exploding, and modifying them, I have good news for you. AutoCAD Mechanical comes with all the frequently used annotation symbols and also supports numerous standards. Simply choose a standard, select the symbols, and insert them directly into your drawing. It's as easy as that. Now let's see how it works and add some annotation symbols to this shaft. Suppose you want to add a node to this key. Then just click Leader Node from the Annotate tab and select the key. I dropped this key from the content library earlier. That means all the information about it is already stored in AutoCAD Mechanical. Now see how the Leader Node automatically picks up this information and displays it as the default text. And if you want to change the text, of course, you can also do so. Next, I'll dimension the slope of this conical section. I'll use the taper symbol to do that. First, I select the center line. That's going to be the baseline from which I want to measure the slope from. After that, I specify the attach point and place the symbol. Notice how AutoCAD Mechanical already calculated the correct ratio. Maybe you want to make some changes to the symbol later. No problem, always when you want to check or change the properties of an object, simply double click it. I'll go on and add a surface texture symbol. I select the shaft and specify the start point. I want to place the symbol on the shaft without a leader, so I just press enter when I'm asked to pick the next point. Now we can specify the options and select the value for the roughness average. When I'm done, I click OK to place the symbol. I want these two shaft segments to have the same roughness average as the one I've just added. That means I'm going to use this value quite often, so I'm going to add it to the symbol library. That'll help me to save some time later. I double click to display its properties and add it to the library. Now we can access the symbol directly from the ribbon. I will now add a symbol to specify the surface texture requirements for all other surfaces. In the dialog box, I flag it as a majority symbol and specify the roughness average. Note how it automatically picks up the other symbols in the drawing and lists them in brackets, according to the standard. Even if I modify a surface texture or add a new one later, it'll change accordingly. Let's go on and add some tolerances. I want to specify a circular runout tolerance. I start with attaching the datum identifiers that'll specify the tolerance axis. I click the datum identifier symbol on the ribbon and select the attach point. See how AutoCAD Mechanical helps me to keep the standard by forcing the first segment of the leader to be perpendicular to the shaft. In the same way, I create the second datum identifier. Last, I'll specify the tolerance. I click the feature control frame symbol and select the shaft segment, which I want to attach it to. I don't have a lot of space here, so I start the leader outside the shaft. AutoCAD Mechanical draws an extension line as I move the mouse. I click to indicate the start point of the leader, and AutoCAD Mechanical forces it to be perpendicular to the shaft, according to the standard. I specify the first vertex of the leader, and now this segment can only be vertical or horizontal. In the dialog box, I select the symbol for a circular runout and specify the tolerance value as well as the axis. And that's it. We just added some rather complex annotation symbols in almost no time. All the symbols in this video comply with the Dean standard, but AutoCAD Mechanical also provides many more standards. Before you start drawing, just go to the Options dialog box and choose the standard you need on the AM Standards tab.
the appearance and behavior of symbols will change according to your choice. In addition to the standard itself, you can even select a specific revision. And there's also a fair amount of customization that you can do without violating the standard. You'll find more about this in the AutoCAD Mechanical Help.